children, human rights violations, dignity, social awareness, poverty, discourse, education for human dignity. So we're looking at the right to education, the right to health, the right to water and sanitation, and the right to food. But chief amongst all of this is the right to housing. Because lack of a house makes all of these other rights fall out. Hello, my name is Wongai Chikwanda. I come from AI Zimbabwe and um, I'm here for the Education for Human Dignity project. And um, today we were working with children uh, from different schools in Slovenia and uh, we talked about the experience of people living in slums. What we mainly focused on was the life experiences from the perspective of a child to the perspective of a woman, girl, child, and the ordinary person that's staying in the slum. We looked at the issue around how uh, poverty is perpetuated, the cycle of poverty, how um, adequate housing drives, in, inadequate housing drives people deeper into poverty. And we also focused mainly on uh, issues such as what is adequate housing, why are we advocating for adequate housing, how does adequate housing affect the right to education, how does inadequate housing affect the right to health, um, the right to lively uh, nutrition, um, and then things like livelihood. Um, the children were uh, quite shocked about the experience that people uh, have in slums in Zimbabwe. Some of them, when I asked them to imagine, because I started by saying, imagine if it was you who were staying in the slum settlement. And um, it was really a difficult experience to imagine for them. But they were quite interested and learned a lot in terms of poverty, because we then narrowed that to poverty and dignity. We then tried to define what poverty is and what absolute poverty is in relation to needs and then we then looked at how it affects the dignity of a person how it affects our the nature of our human being um, we also talked um, about the, the the students sorry asked more about issues around how we can improve their lives and um, we then raised what as amnesty we are doing in zimbabwe how we're advocating for security of tenure and how we would want the current lease agreements to be strengthened and how if children lack education, how their lives become doomed. It's a bit into God, you have to have It was quite an interesting and exciting project uh, for us today because the children express also a bit of how they were uh, shocked to find out that the children who are living in such situations. Some expressed anger when I asked them to imagine if it was them. They said that they were a bit angry at the situ situation. Some expressed horror and some saying that they would not be able to live in such a situation. And some completely said I can't imagine that because I've never gone through something like that. So when you have a house, you know that in that house there is water which enables you the right to housing. You know that in that house there is sanitation, there is ventilation which enables you to proper sanitation and ventilation. You know that in that house I have somewhere to place my head on. So I am basically okay. But if you don't have that, you are driven into poverty.